up until now we have created master pages and then used them but sometimes you don't use master pages right away when you're designing and you realize after the fact that something you created probably should have been a master page and so let's go back to page one this is the page that we have the none master applied to and so oh or actually we don't so I'm gonna apply none master to page one so I'm on actual page one. I know I'm there because I've double clicked on that on the pages panel, but also if I look at the bottom left hand corner of my document window, it tells me I'm on page one. Now maybe you're designing something and maybe you're doing page numbers or you're doing um, a template for the first page of a chapter and you decide that you want to have some sort of graphic element that looks like this and you want it to repeat in exactly the same way on all the pages or all the first pages of every chapter in your project. If that's the case and you've already created it, maybe you've added text inside it. Oops, I guess I moved too fast for the computer. Okay, so maybe you did some formatting, so I'm going to make the text white. And I'm going to choose a new typeface. Let's go with this one. Let's make it bigger. I don't like that typeface, so I'm going to change it. I don't like that one either. Let's go with this one. So I'm going to do some formatting. And the formatting is going to be important because I'm basically saying that I'm doing this formatting because I want to ensure that it is the same on every chapter that I work with. So I don't like the white either. So I'll come in here and make it like a dark purple color. Maybe I want to decrease the letting so that it's closer together. Once, that I, once I am positive that this is how I want every single chapter to look, I want to have a chapter title name. Let's add a stroke to that. I want it to say chapter one, and then I want it to have the name of the chapter under that. If I decide that that's something that I should have repeated as a master page element, you can always select a page and then hit the option fly out menu and go to master pages and then you can save the page that you have selected as a master. When you do that it will take the very next letter so I have an A master, a B master and so by default it will create a C master and then I have that as my template so I need to go back to page one and delete that content and then I would click and drag to apply C master as the template that I'm using for the first chapter. You can also load master pages. So if someone else has a master page that they've already created and they want to share with you, if they give you their INDD file, you can use the pages panel, use the option fly out menu, choose master pages, and then choose load master pages. When you choose this, all you have to do is find the InDesign document that has the master page that you want to grab or share. And so on my desktop, give me a second to get there, I have saved an example file where I have saved one master page that I want to bring over. And so when I select this and choose open, you will see that, and I gave it a number just to make sure that I wasn't going to override one of my other master pages. I have this new master page, and if I click and drag and apply it to page two and three, you can see that it's just a purple header that I wanted to repeat in exactly the same way. Now usually when you're sharing master pages, you'll be sharing something more complex that has formatting and things like that. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to share masters pages from one document to the next. Now sometimes you start applying master pages and creating master pages and then you realize that you have so many master pages you can't remember which ones you've used or you've not used. And just like your swatches panel, you kind of want to you want to work clean. And so if at the end of your design process you realize that you have 45 different master pages but you can't remember which ones you were using or not, if you hit the option fly out menu and choose master pages, right below where we chose to load master pages, you can choose to select all unused master pages. It will highlight them and then you can use the trash can to delete them if you don't want them.